How's it going, guys? It is 3.41 a.m. Friday, May 13th here in Japan, and we have a past level histo question for step one. Okay, Histo is not high yield on USMLE. This question, nearly identical one, shows up on one of the offline step one exams. Okay, so you need to know this. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. 80-year-old man, four-month history of fatigue. He's lost 10 pounds during this time. Blood pressure, 100 over 65. He has darkening of the skin of the forearms. Sodium is low at 130. Should be 135 to 145. Potassium is elevated at 5.5. Should be 3.5 to 5. Bicarbs low at 20. Should be 22 to 28. Eosinophils, super fucking high. Should be under 5%. Questions asking, dysfunction of which of the following layers best explains this patient's hyponatremia. This patient has Addison disease, okay? This is autoimmune primary adrenal insufficiency, often due to autoantibodies against 21 hydroxylase. Uh, it can occur in older patients as well as younger patients. Okay. Question on the NBME exam is see an 82 year old man. You can get weight loss uh, in Addison disease. Okay. Not my opinion. It's on the NBME exam. Uh, the fatigue, uh, low cortisol causes chronic fatigue syndrome. Very, very, very important. Okay. If you ever have a patient who has unexplained chronic fatigue, check cortisol levels. Okay. Low cortisol chronic fatigue syndrome. Blood pressure is technically normal here. Okay. hundred over 65 blood pressure can be low normal or low in Addison disease, uh, darkening the skin of the forearms. Of course, hyperpigmentation when you've got low cortisol, decreased negative feedback at the hypothalamus, anterior pituitary, increased CRH uh, from the hypothalamus will cause uh, increased pro-opio-melanocortin, POMC, which is the precursor to ACTH, as well as alpha-MSH. Uh, so alpha-MSH can cause uh, the hyperpigmentation. ACTH is thought to also have a role in hyperpigmentation. ACTH is up to compensate, of course, so that in turn we can try to get our cortisol back up, even though we can't. So questions asking the cause of the hyponatremia, though. This is due to low aldosterone. Now we can do a long fucking discussion about the role in the kidney and the effects and all this stuff. You just need to know that when we talk about arrows, uh, the sodium, the bicarb, and the pH will go the same direction as aldosterone. Potassium goes the opposite direction, okay? So in this case, aldosterone's low. We have a down arrow for sodium, down arrow for bicarb, down arrow for pH, okay? And potassium's an up arrow, opposite direction. Eosinophils, very fucking weird, okay? But you need to know that cortisol, basal levels in the blood uh, allow for sequestration of eosinophils within the spleen. So if we, if we have low cortisol, we can get eosinophilia. This detail, especially on 2CK questions, you need to know. Don't go chasing stool, ova, and parasites. You need to know that eosinophilia, you think of differentials like allergies, okay? Uh, like drug allergy, especially in surgery questions. Uh, helminth infections, parasites, right? And also adrenal insufficiency. Churg, Strauss, other things. Let's just stay focused here. So we say, well, we got our adrenal layers. What's the answer? And hyponatremia, we're talking about low aldosterone, as I just fucking said. So answer is B, zonoglomerulosa. Now you say, what the fuck? I thought zonoglomerulosa was the most superficial layer. A is the capsule. Okay, if they show you five layers here for adrenal gland, you need to know there's a thin superficial layer that's the capsule. Not my opinion. All right, this is something for whatever fucking reason uh, they like showing on NBME content. They like this notion of the capsule. OMG. Okay, so A is capsule. B zonoglomerulosa produces uh, mineralocorticoids, i.e., aldosterone. C is our zona fasciculata, glucocorticoids, i.e., cortisol. Uh, D the reticularis. This is going to be androgens, uh, particularly uh, dihydroepiandrosterone sulfate (DHEAS), androstene dione. And then E is our medulla, okay, catecholamines, uh, namely uh, dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, pheochromocytoma is this layer, tumor of this layer, okay? So look, a lot we can talk about. I'm not going to make this a 46-minute clip, all right? But you need to know the layers of the adrenal glands. You need, of the adrenal gland. You need to know what uh, secrete in each layer, all right, and that this is a basic presentation of Addison disease. You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.